but I feel like everyone kind of knows what the um, current trend for a entry level keyboards should be. So we have like the general picture of it, you know. Okay, without further ado, we'll just I'm just gonna show you the Choice sixty five. The lighting is a little bit off. I'm sorry. Ini nggak ada mouse pad kak, lagi nggak pakai mouse pad. Demi estetik kayak gini ya. Demi estetik, gua kayak pakai desk mat, eh pakai cutting mat aja. Okay, hey, disclaimer before we start, right? Before we start, just a disclaimer, and I, I think I will say this midstream again. Um, this was sent to me by Cookie Studio. I am affiliated with Cookie Studio, but I will be reviewing this in the most honest ways possible because I think by now you kind of know me like if I don't like something I wouldn't like you know be hyping it up I would call it out and like to say I don't like that like straight up I don't like it but you know it's gonna be a fair review and I'm still consider myself as a beginner in this hobby even though I'm still I had <laughs> even though I'm in this hobby for like almost three years now but hey i'm still a beginner like there's a lot more you know peeps out there who are heaps more skillful than i am more knowledgeable than i am so i'm just like your average consumer and you know just treat this don't treat me as your fellow new enthusiast i suppose anyways this is the choice 65 actually edward had built this before so that's convenient for me as well the packaging um i think i'm a little bit sold by the colors but it's pretty standard it's pretty standard um we have some extra screws and uh, extra gasket street strips i assume and we do have extra rubber feet as well yeah rubber feet and then we have hex what do you call it hex key, hex key. and then we have some screws and then we open it up and then what i okay this is what i like about the choice 65 because the packaging is a little bit different instead of like you know the usual keyboard back which i feel like it will be more efficient it will be more useful if you do want to like you know carry your keyboard around but i mean this is pretty interesting but i'm not sure how efficient and how reliable and durable it will be but it does come with a pouch and it's giving hermes you know it's giving hermes but i know this is like a fall letter but you know, it's it's something new, it's something different, so can't complain, right?
All right, let's. This is the Toy 65 by Philosophier with A Jazz Fano Kiwis. These are Lube. And then we do have the stabilizers. I think this is TX stabilizer. I forgot to ask. I forgot to ask, but I think this is TX stabilizers. But if not, I'll let you know. But I didn't retune um, the stab, so it might be, there might be a little thicking, but don't mind that, okay? All right, so. If I were to rate it, I would give it like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. It's decent. It's a it's a solid board, you know, with the design and stuff. And for the price, honestly. I mean, right now, I feel like most beginners or like most new enthusiasts of this hobby, they want to get a keyboard that looks nice and looks uh, and affordable and according to their budget basically i mean for its price you know like this is amazing if you like the design and it it suits your wallet it won't do any da severe damage to you it's a decent board but my problem with this is that aside from like um the design i don't really like how like um the gaskets are mounted i might be wrong um where i place the gasket strips but you know it doesn't stay and according to alex's videos um uh, stream uh we do need to have uh to use the mid plate foam Actually, that was a really great quote. That was a really great paragraph, bro. <laughs> I really, I mean, the sound, I like it even with the, with all the foams. Personally, I don't mind using like a lot of foams in, on my boards. I mean, for me, as long as it sounds nice, it feels nice to type on, then like, why the hell not, you know? The board, um, I would say it's decent. I would rate it like, um 7 out of 10 just because uh i gave honestly if it wasn't for the price i would give it lower but because of its price and because of the quality that you get i gave it 7 out of 10 my concern is that you know they i think they offered this gasket mount system as well but it doesn't do any justice because it was like super shaky the plate and the pcb keeps on like moving and with the gasket mount with the gasket strips so it was a bit annoying but i changed it to this mid plate foam and top silicone mount system thingy and it is intact even though it's a, it, it it moves a little bit it slightly moves but um it's better it's at least like it's it's intact you know 
And aside from that, like it's another good option if you know new enthusiasts or like just anyone who wants like a cheaper, more affordable keyboard with like um decent quality, then yeah, this is definitely a board that you should consider of getting. I mean, the design itself is really great. It reminds me of Mr. Suit, and you know, it feels fancy, right? 